I'm going to do another tumbling stream. Uh, so, uh, just put, put in some some rocks. Just to, this is just a design really. And another sort of rock coming. It's a nice bit of scraping. And we'll have, we'll have a stream coming down there. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to paint these, these rocks or scrape them so the water will be coming through there and some banking. Uh, another autumn scene. So, okay, and we'll, we'll put in some trees here and, and there. So, palettes, uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt up, paint grey, and burnt sienna if I need it for this painting. So, this particular one, we're not going to see any sky, we're just going to see, see the, the background trees. So, it's pointless putting any blue in the inner sky behind there because you won't see it. All the sky will be reflected in this in a tumbling stream. And I've noticed that a lot of rocks are actually green, they're covered in algae. So I'll, I'll do, the, do, do the same. So we, we need to wet the paper all over, which I will do, but I'll do it with colours. Uh, no, I won't. I'll just wet the paper. I like these graphite sticks to draw with, the solid graphite. They're really nice. This one, I bought this these one, I have two of these in Florida. It's 2B, I would have preferred a 4B, but they didn't have any. And I couldn't take it, all my stuff with me to, to paint. That was a, a heart marshals, no, I can't remember the name of the store. It's a, like the hobby craft in, in the UK, it's one of those sort of stores. But they've got a very, very good range of art material. Uh, right, okay, so we'll put in some nice sienna, more awesome awesome colours, so a bit of raw, uh, alizarin crimson, a bit of... bit of alizarin and, and raw sienna, and we can use light red in here as well. This, this is going to represent all the autumn, autumn colours. Oh, I'm going to leave that bit free of paint there. That's where my tumbling stream's going to go. So I'm going to keep that light. I don't know if your putty rubbers end up like mine, round. You put them down, they roll off, and then you can't find them. They start using bad language. Right, I'm just preserving that bit of light across there. Now we're going for some burnt umber now, a bit of blue, burnt umber, nice darky sort of shadowy colours. A bit of red in that, it's just too, just too, uh, too brown. It's just, just background, background colours. A bit of lemon yellow I think, mixed in with the red. Nice bit of yellow left on here. Back into the shadow in there. My brush is, is sort of splitting, so I'll just see if I can remove some of those obvious. Uh, 
a bit of yellow, green, dark greens. Right, I need much more dark in there. Burnt umber, bit of paint's grey. <coughs> dark enough so I'm going to add some Payne's grey to that brown and red but it's got to be warm While we've got that, just lift out some okay. There's got to be a lot of negative shapes here where the lights are actually illuminated by the darks behind them. Bit of dark green in there, I think. Now dark green. The last one I did, what finished 20 minutes ago, was uh, based on Ron Ranson cover photograph. One of his lovely Lakeland scenes, very, very simply painted. Right, I'll let that go for a minute. We're, we're going to get into some rocks. So we've got the green. some lovely dark greens in the shadows of these rocks. Nice and nice and wet. Just scrape out the, the lights on on these. I can put in some dark greens in here, so just the Payne's grey and the lemon yellow. Uh, be careful where we put them. I want to outline the light on the rocks. A bit dark in there. Oh. 
And if you get it wrong first time, you can always go over it with a bit more wet paint. Right, let's just re, re do that again. Yep. Repeated myself there, so I'm going to have to change that a little bit. Let's just move that one over. Okay, that's better. Put a bit of dark shadow in there. Right, this is making the lights shine or stand out a little bit. I've got to put in the water, of course, and the Nice bit of grey in there, just the darks. I'm using paint that really is nice and sloppy now. There's just so much water on it. Oh, we'll put in some of the darkish greens in here. All parts of the general mix of uh, autumn greens and I'm going to put quite a bit of wood in, in here. Just clip the paper and I'll do the rocks on the other side. Then we'll go back into, into this here. Um, but before I do, I want to put some of the, the leaves that are gathering on on here. Okay. Let's go and do some rocks over here. Nice green again. some warm greens. Got some nice dark colours in here now. So when I scrape it goes down and creates the shadows on the rocks. Well, okay, there we go.
we get in some darks now in there, dark greens. Boxing. Right, now some dark greens in here. Just all parts of the mid orange of textures, colours. Okay, let's. Uh, Start putting some of the uh, chunks in now. I should have fixed out a bit more of that really, but Some, some trees falling down. Might use a bit of white in there just to pick out some nice light catching trunks. Not how the lovely impressionist hit and miss you can get with the, the hake on this type of painting. And use every bit of the hake, the corners, the back, the tips, the edges. It's a very, very first brush. It, it's well worth persevering because if you're a beginner you, and you persevere with something like this, quite quickly you'll be able to do some impressionist scenes that will impress your friends. They'll think, you cool, you've done so much work, but really, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's called impressionism. Keeping things simple. Now, I'm going to put in some neat red. Just on, just to show. Some leaves. Leaves have fallen. The autumn leaves, the autumn leaves, da 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 Right, okay, now I'll just go back, um, i going to get my little tray with the water in, I mean with the white paint in. Keep it away from your ordinary paints because being a pake, the gouache will get in everything. And having said that, I'm going to do just that. So I'm going to lift a little bit out up, clean the brush. So I've got on there just a bit of raw sienna, and, and I'm just going to tint it, tint the white with it. <coughs> so we can just, just catch in the light here. Green. I'm, pr 
probably overdoing this, but whoops. So when you when you put gouache in something or acrylic, you, you you turn it from a watercolour into a mixed media painting. Well I shouldn't have done that, that looks turn on there. Take that out. Right, I'll dry that off and then I'll uh, do the water. I really need a bit of a rock, some rocks in there, just a bit too much so, so let's just wet that again and I'll put in my yellow rocks. Enjoy that. And now we'll do the tumbly, the tumbly bits. So I'm going to use a bit of burnt umber and a bit of uh, ultramarine. A bit of paint clay. Right, we've got a lot of dark bits around this uh these are, are supposed to be reflections of of those rocks and the darks coming nice plenty of dark in in there. Ripples. These sort of ripple, I can't do any better than that. So I'm going to um, put a signature on this. Maybe let's just like all the paintings, we're never really sure whether. They're good enough, but uh, I think any more than that, big, big clutter. So we don't want to put the clutter. I'll put it in a mount and we'll have a look and see what we've done. So it's an autumn scene. Tumbling autumn spring. I'm putting these on just to keep the, the mount flat against the board. <coughs> so it's a, um, an exercise in simplifying. You saw the drawing. I think um, that is a bit obvious there. Don't like that. So let's just. Uh, Oh, 
like uh, mm, it'll do it'll do uh, right let's zoom in so we start off with the horizon there that rock I put in just to fill that hole I've tried to show or give an impression of leaves autumn leaves on the rocks as well as algae and the water will you see how simply I did that so as an impression I don't think it's too bad I'm going to get these uploaded and you can sit with a glass of wine later on and have a look at these okay thanks for watching bye bye